Previously on Free Fire Some people are simply born with extraordinary abilities. For Moko, that came in the form of her hacking. For the longest time, Moko had been a bystander in her own story. Now, she had the option to choose a future for herself. But what would she choose? After a tumultuous few days, Moko needed some time for herself to figure things out. Andy tried to reach out, but she wasn't replying. Andy wanted to know if she would still be attending prom with him. What he didn't know, however, was that Moko had new plans of her own. On the night of their prom, Andy had practically given up hope of seeing Moko there. Moko, however, had an affinity for surprises. She surprised the room with her presence and turned heads. There she was, and Andy was quick to offer her a dance, which Moko gracefully accepted. Moko mentioned that this scene, this moment, was something that she had never imagined would be part of her life. It seemed like a fairy tale to her. In Annie's eyes, this was what she deserved and more awaited. She had a bright future ahead, a future that he wanted to be a part of. He thought that, together with the power of Horizon and their power combined, they could achieve great things. It seemed like Andy was slowly building towards something more, something else. Bluntly, he was about to ask a question. Yet at that exact moment, Moko swatted him away, leaving the dance floor and Andy alone in it. Although he tried to reach out to Moko to apologize for his bluntness, she was already leaving. Still, her words were kind. She just had somewhere to get to. She offered him a warm smile and was on her way. Moko made her way to the bathroom, where she stood still for a moment. This was it. Her last chance to take a different path in life. She made her choice and she chose to go through with her plan. From her bag, she produced a knife and got to work. Immediately at Horizon Network Security Center, alarms started blaring. Someone was hacking into Horizon's network at blinding speed and wreaking havoc everywhere. They downloaded confidential data like it was nothing. By accessing through a Horizon terminal, this hacker had acquired faster access to the network, bringing down security in the blink of an eye, too fast for Horizon to handle. As the network was breached, files started going missing. Among those were criminal records, specifically pertaining to one recent subject. On the other side of the city, Angela was now free to go due to wrongful arrest. Try as they might, Horizon could not get a handle of the situation. The hacker was simply better than them, and they moved at speeds that defied reality. It was like magic to them. Eventually, they got a handle on the situation and found the culprit. One Moko Ortega. Her location? The very same Horizon Tower's 12th floor restroom. By the time Horizon Security got there, the room was empty. On the floor, they found Moko's pair of heels, as well as her implant chip, bloody and broken after being pried out of her neck. They were too late. Moko had managed to fool Horizon and slip away. As she made her way back home, Moko listened to the recording her mother had left her among her belongings once again. In it, her mother explained it all. How she once heard Moko muttering to herself in her sleep, asking the question that Moko had been burdened with for years. Moko's mother had once made a choice, and for a long time, she wondered if that had been the correct answer. Years ago during the war, Moko's father got the opportunity of a lifetime. Two passes to leave the war-torn city. Two for a family of three. He made his choice. She made hers. She chose Moko, and to give up her chance at peace by staying with her. To cope, she threw herself at the little pleasures in life, ignoring what really mattered the most. And although she tried her best to be a good mother to Moko, somewhere along the way, she lost her way and started blaming Moko for their misfortunes. It wasn't until Moko left for good that she came to realize that she wasn't to blame. 
With Moko gone, the only thing that had changed was that she missed her. Moko was not to blame for anything. Her mother had one last message for Moko, and she had taken those words to heart when she made her move against Horizon. She said, Don't take on other people's burdens. You deserve a good life. Be free. With those words, Moko's life was changed forever. Now, she was on the run from Horizon. Horizon. 